Coldwater taking to the field for the Division 5 state championship game looking for their third title in a row against undefeated Canton Central Catholic. Cavaliers get things started early. Brody Hoing on the quarterback keeper. He gets to the outside and tight ropes the far sideline before he gets tripped up. Not before he picks up 28 yards. First down, Cavaliers. Now Hoing back to pass. He rolls to his left and he's got Craig Shane here who's going to make the shoestring catch. He goes into the end zone. Cavaliers strike early on the 36-yard touchdown just a minute and 12 seconds into the game. Now the Coldwater defense forces a three and out after stuffing Justin Diddy on the jet sweep run play up the middle and Hoying back to work. Fakes the give and gets through the line, shakes off a tackler, makes a great cut and reaches pay dirt from 23 yards out. His 27th rushing touchdown on the campaign, Cavaliers take a 14-0 lead. And now, Canton Central Catholic with the ball. Jake Bakuti looking to pass and slings a nice spiral to Jimmy Russell on the crossing route, first down. And now Bakuti hands off to Russell. He gets to the second level and evades a tackler at the 10, comes near side and gets into the end zone. Crusaders make it 14 to seven. Coldwater responds quickly. Hoying rolls out and chucks it up to Derek Toby. He reels it in between two defenders. His 11th receiving touchdown of the season. Cavs miss the PAT though. That makes it 27 after a quarter of play. Fourth down Crusaders. Bakuti looking for John Colangelo over the middle, but Aaron Harlemer makes the great deflection and break up. Cavaliers take over on downs. Hoying now takes the snap in without hesitation into the end zone and sticks the somersault. 10 yard touchdown, Coldwater leads 27 to seven. Now Bakuti back to pass and he feels the pressure. Chase Bruggeman serves up the sack lunch. The defense isn't done just yet. Next play, third down, Bakuti buying time but Mitch Clooney runs him down behind the line. Crusaders forced a punt nearing the end of the first half. This drive for Coldwater goes by in a hurry. 46 seconds to go 65 yards, capped off by this 60-yard rushing touchdown by Brody Hoing. Cavaliers lead 34-7 at this point. Closing seconds of the first half, and Chris Post wants to get in on the end zone festivities, and he does. Three-yard run. Coldwater takes a 41-7 lead into the locker room. After a Crusader touchdown to start the second half, Hoing responds. Using his blockers, he cuts upfield and makes his final house call of the night from 32 yards out. Cavaliers extend the lead to 34 points, 48 to 14. Coldwater down near the goal line in the fourth quarter. They give it to Mitch Fullenkamp and the senior blast into the end zone from two yards out. The Cavaliers would tack on a 73-yard touchdown pass to C.J. Seibert from Kyle McKibben late in the fourth quarter. Coldwater sets a Division V state championship game record by putting up 62 points, and both teams combined for the highest scoring championship game in Division V history as well. Coach Chip Otten was happy with the momentum his team carried down the stretch in the playoffs. Yeah, you know, when you get in a big game like this, you don't ever think it's, it's going to turn out like this. And, uh, you know, we played probably our best game of the year because that was a good team. They, you know, they, they, they just beat Bishop Hartley and beat Ursula. And so that they went through some, they went through a tough road there, and and uh, you know an undefeated team. We just beat three undefeated teams in a row uh, these last three games. So um, I think we kind of put it had put it together tonight and uh, spread the wealth. And certainly when you have a have one guy who's who's you have a lot of good players and one really really good player that that, that makes things a special for us. The really really good player being Brody Hoying. The senior went for 236 yards on 21 totes and four rushing touchdowns to go along with 99 yards and two more touchdowns through the air in his final game as the Cavalier. The future Eastern Michigan Eagle keyed in on being aggressive on the offensive side of the ball. Um, watching the other two Mac schools, you know, Minster and Kirtland had a great game. Uh, then Marion really put up some good points. That's what we wanted to do. We wanted to get up early and often uh, to let, put in cruise control, and that's exactly what we did. The Crusaders didn't lie down in the second half. Coach Otten liked the Cavaliers' ability to fight back after two quick touchdowns by Canton Central Catholic early in the third quarter. You know, you never know um, um, how, how, things, how things are going to go, and, and uh, they came out really throwing, throwing really well there in the second half. And, and uh, good thing we responded. Uh, we felt like they would do onside kicks, and, and we put our hands team out there, so we, so we recovered those to not let it let it kind of kind of get get uh, a little bit nervous or whatever. So 
um, you know, they, they, that was a good good team and, and a good battle there, but, uh, you know, we hung on. With the third straight championship by Coldwater, the Midwest Athletic Conference was able to pull off the trifecta this weekend. Three teams bringing home state championship trophies. I guess it's a, a validation that, uh, you know, the kids, the kids and the coaches and the communities uh, really care about their schools and care about sports, and, and uh, the expectations are really, really high. And, and so as everyone continues, to, to do well, everybody wants to get to that level, and so, so it creates lots of competition uh, for us all. Uh, it's incredible. We knew all season long how strong the MAC was. We knew there was a chance of this, and now that it's come true, it's just really an honor to be a part of it. The first five trips to the state championship game for Coldwater were in Stark County. How do they feel about the move to Ohio Stadium for the sixth? My initial thoughts were that I, that I really liked being in the smaller stadium and, and more high school-like, but, but now that I'm here and uh, we've been treated well, uh, I don't know, it's tough. I, I think the kids, just because of the, uh, the, the, the stadium, uh, I think they probably enjoyed it here maybe a little more. I don't know. For me, I don't know. It's, it's just, just fun to be out here playing. Definitely this one. This is an outstanding atmosphere, nothing like it in the whole country.